The alerts you receive from your insulin pump can be customized to fit your needs. Your healthcare team will work with you to determine your initial settings. They can also help you make changes. Let's review what you can adjust to improve your experience using the system. Glucose alerts. Glucose alerts are important as they let you know if you're going high or low. Ideally, your alerts are set to help you take action when needed, but we understand receiving too many can be overwhelming. There are many different customization options you can try. With the system, you can set different high and low alerts based on a time of day. For example, some will set tighter alert parameters while at home compared to when they are at work. At home, you may want to be alerted of a high glucose when you reach 200 mg per deciliter. At the office, you may want to be alerted when you reach 250 mg per deciliter. Setting wider parameters for work hours can lead to fewer alerts, helping reduce interruptions at the office. Another customization you can try, if you get a lot of glucose alerts, is to turn off predictive alerts. Reminder Alerts The system also sends alerts if you've missed a more routine activity that's required to keep the system running, such as providing a calibration. If you receive a lot of these alerts, you might consider setting reminder alerts. Reminder alerts will help you be more proactive in your management and can help reduce frequent alerts that may occur after a missed activity. Notification Options We have multiple options that allow you to personalize how the system alerts you. You can choose to be alerted by audio, vibration, or a combination of both. If you choose an audio option, you can also increase or decrease the volume based on what works best for you. We hope this information helps you make changes to your alerts so you are only being notified when you need to be. Thanks for watching.